Here we go. Hope everybody's doing great. This is Jose Trujillo. And uh, let's do a video. Let's do a little video of my je ne sais quoi, of my je ne sais quoi painting. Let's see what this thing looks like. Friends of the arts, familia de las artes marcianas. Let's do this. Here we go, here we go. Do one little painting right there. It's not little, but it's it's a painting all right. And I gotta shave those those corners. All right, here we go. So you're going to create a little field. And let's just see what happens, okay? Make no promises. The only promise I make is that I'm going to be here painting. Very subtle. Look at that. Boom, baby. I said, boom, baby. Can someone please follow me, says Monique Ali. Dude, that's awesome. Haven't watched you painting for a while. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm a key. Let's see what this thing looks like. Okay. Very simple, very subtle. Let's see what happens. Boom, baby. Someone was asking me on, on uh, where was it? I think it was, it was on uh, YouTube. Someone was asking me saying that they felt like, like I had something in my mind lately, in the last videos. I'm like, damn right, I have something in my mind. I just won't say it. There's too many ears. Too many ears out there. Look at that. Love this little painting. So this painting measures 12 by 24 inches. Okay, 12 by 24, and uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I will be auctioning it on, on eBay tonight, so that's that. Let me guess, a hawk flying over the ocean. Oh, that'd be nice. Uh, no, but that's not, that's not what, what's going on, but it would be nice. I do like that.
So for those of you who have been following me on uh, or are subscribed, still subscribed to my to my monthly subscription, guys, I just want to tell you uh, that thing is, is is stopping. OK, I know some people just there was a few people that just subscribed. Amo, amo tu trabajo. Muchas gracias, Isa. Um, I know some people just subscribe to that. They've been subscribing to that. Um, I, I gotta keep reminding people that that's coming. That's coming down this month. Okay, this is the last month that things coming down. Uh, I didn't have the the energy or the attention to give it that it deserved, and so I just want to remind people out there it's coming down. Uh, so please don't uh, don't feel like like oh my god what happened? I've been talking about it just about every day. Uh, that it's coming down for the past uh, month or so. I did not have enough energy to give that that thing. And uh, as much as I want to teach people, as much as I want to, I want to um, help people out there. It's it's just not it's not what I what I it's just not for me right now. I don't. I don't say it's not gonna be ever for me. It's just not for me right now. Uh, it requires a lot of attention. It requires a lot of energy for it to to actually work. And uh, to work the way I want it, right? I, I, I'm sure that some people, if they see the numbers, they're like, "Dude, that works. It might work, but not not for me the way I want it right now." It actually takes energy away from me right now, so lots of energy. So I have to, I have to stop that. It's got to stop and stuff. Some things in my life, I just have to figure out how to, how to, you know, keep them going. And some other ones, I have to pull the plug pretty quick before it starts draining me, draining energy. That's one of those uh, draining activities. It became that for me. Um, too many emails, too many questions. Everybody, everybody, I, I promised something that I could not f fulfill. Uh, people wanted me to pretty much coach them for free and and on and on and on. I, I just couldn't do that. Like that, boom. Maybe some, maybe at some point, some, some other time. Um, in another way, in a far, far, far away, distant galaxy. How's it going, Manuela? What's happening? Bill, what's up? Quick, what's up? What's up, Bill? Saludos, burn up another canvas with color. I love that. Dude, that's where it's at. Valerias, what's happening? Can Jocelyn Art? Isa, ya te saludé, Isa, o no te he saludado? Isa, ya te saludé? No sé, no sé. No, sí, sí, ya te saludé. Here we go. Delicious here. What's happening? So, yeah, but but I am going to continue to to uh, show up here, and maybe at some point in the near future, when I'm ready again, who knows? I might get back to teaching. Um, for good. I, I don't want to start something and then have to stop it. So, so uh, maybe at some point. I have the material. It's not like I don't have the material. I have tons of material. I just I didn't have the energy or the time to to put it together and 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 give it the the, the respect that it required, the respect and attention it required. Yeah. Also had some things that I didn't know how to handle. I had some all kinds of weird stuff happen. Um, people stealing the material I had some copycats stealing the material um, and I had some some people uh, trying to scam me through the through that and so I had no I mean not that I know how to handle I know how to handle it I don't have the energy to handle it right? like doing some other things so I was like dude I, I don't have the time for this I don't have the time for this thing right now so enough said Again, if you are a part of that monthly subscription, it's it's coming down this month. Just another reminder for those of you who are haven't unsubscribed, please do unsubscribe. Otherwise, I will unsubscribe 
You will be unsubscribed this month. It's coming down, downtown. Look at that. Look at those colors. Those colors are amazing. How's it going, Amber? What's up? What's up, Caroline? Apenas conocí tu trabajo ayer y estoy obsesionada. Muchas gracias. Hello, everyone. The Moonlight Artist. I love that. It's very simple, my friends. Very, very, very simple stuff. It's not easy. Easy and simple are not the same thing. Some, some, people, some people think it's the same thing. It's not. Uh, easy and simple is not the same thing. But, uh, but it does get easier over time, right? Things start getting easier over time. Look at that. BEA beautiful. Look at that. Boom. Look at that sky. Do you varnish your oil paintings? I don't varnish them. Um, some people tell me I should, but I just I just don't do that. Um, um, it takes an extra um, an extra time to varnish them. I don't like to varnish them when they're still pretty wet. And now they're dry to the touch when I ship them, but they're still pretty wet inside. Uh, so that is why I don't I don't varnish them. Some. Yeah, exactly. What my wife said right now. You have to let the oil cure for a few months before. Months yeah, before you get to varnish it. So I don't. I don't take that extra step. Something like that. So that's what's happening, my friends. Look at that. Baby, come back. Que onda, Shamuko? Hi, Jose. Do you ever feel stuck in your art? How do you pass through that? Okay, so I'm... I'm I'm never stuck in my art. What happens is that um, what what happens with ninety nine point nine percent of artists is that they don't have a practice. There is no practice in place. So people feel stuck because they don't because they think that they should be doing something that they they can't do yet. So, for example, if you're barely starting to paint, you, you, you feel like you should be doing portraits and, and figurative work or your work should be super interesting. No, it can't be. You just started. It can't be. Um, and even if you've been doing it for years, it can't be that way. It can only be whatever you can produce that day. Does that make any sense? I hope that makes any sense. Uh, your work is only as good as, as, as your skill set. However, um, if if you if you dip in and out in and out of your work, um, if you dip in and out, you you you, you you're always going to have those problems. I, I've said that many many times. Uh, this is not something you dip in and out of. This is something that you do till you die. Or you just don't do. 
It's not something that you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm not going to paint tomorrow because, uh, you know, or I'm not painting today because I'm packaging. I mean, you can do that, but, but that is exactly why, why those problems occur. And the, the reality is that it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult discipline. That's the reality. That's why most artists are stuck. That's why most artists are stuck in creating uh, their work or in getting paid a certain a certain something for their work or whatever it is in their career. They they can only reach so 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 far because they are not. Um, how can I say this? And. Yeah, you you, sh you shouldn't be stuck in your work. There, there shouldn't be a, 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 a I'm stuck type of deal. Um, now, I understand the feeling because the feeling is there, is valid. But the feeling doesn't come from being stuck from the work. The feeling comes from actually not putting in the work. That's where the feeling comes from. Most artists don't put in the work. Uh, I don't blame anybody who doesn't. This is for crazy people. This is for maniacs. You tell any any artist out there. Um, you tell any artist out there that you have to perform as an athlete. They're gonna say, "You're bananas. That's not true. That's not it. I can paint whenever I want to. I can dip in and out." But um, but that's not how this works. Not not in my understanding. Okay, there there might be some people out there who work that way. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know a single real professional artist who works that way. I don't even know of someone who works that way who's a professional at anything. And most, most artists were, were suckered into believing that, that we show up. They're like, no, man, you don't understand. I show up. I'm always there. Um, that's, not, that's not the reality in, in, in most cases. And so that's, that's where that stuck comes from. The whole artist. Um, And it takes a lot of work because what do you do? Like for example, you're starting out, right? Let's say you're starting out. People don't like hearing this. They're like, they're like, fuck you, Jose. I'm leaving. <laughs> as soon as they start talking about this, people leave me. Uh, let's say that you're starting out and you're like, I don't know. It doesn't matter, you guys. Just do whatever feels right. Don't listen to me. Everybody should do their own thing. Look at that. Boom. I said it's so great to watch working. Thank you in my language. We'll say Zakun. Love you and your art. Thank you so much. What new stuff are you doing? All kinds of stuff. I'll talk to you guys about it in a bit. Uh, do you know what you're going to paint before you start and make it up as you? Yeah, it's a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Um, a little bit of faking it a little bit of knowing it's a uh, give and take but yeah yeah man no not, not even joking this thing is hard this thing is not for the faint of heart it's painting it's not that painting is hard coming to the to the reality that you are not going to paint something super amazing just because you feel like it you're just going to paint. Your whole job is just to paint. But but again, most artists don't, don't know that. And so every day they go to the studio thinking they're gonna produce a masterpiece. They're like, I'm gonna produce a masterpiece. Now that's that's the that's the right it's the right mindset. But if if you if you drink too much of that, you're not gonna realize that you're not supposed to go paint a masterpiece. You're supposed to go paint. And then every now and then you'll hit a home run. You know, every now and then you hit a home run. You don't even know why you hit the home run, but you'll hit it. Every now and then there's going to be a home run. The more you do it, the more home runs you start you start having.
Look at that. Just saying, just putting it out there. And ultimately, everybody does it differently. Right? My, my, maybe my way of seeing things is too, is too exaggerated. I just don't know any other way. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to do this mild. I, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't work for me if I do it mild. It bites me in the ass if I do it mild. I, I don't know how to do it mild. I don't know how to show up when I feel like it and then everything's fine. That, that doesn't work for me. I have to be as, as consistent as, as, the, as the sun and the moon. Otherwise it won't work for me. So I don't know, some, some people might say something else and, and that works for them and you know, I mean, you're blessed. If it works for you some other way, you're blessed. Keep at it. Keep doing that. Look at that. All, all I know is that this uh, disciplines are very difficult. They're much more difficult than disciplines of going to the gym. Because going to the gym, you, 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 even though that's very difficult, it, it's maybe 30 minutes or an hour. Two hours if you're like super, super pumped about going to the gym. Maybe t two hours tops. But uh, this thing, you, you, you can't wing it with two hours. And you can't wing it every now and then either. It, it, I found that it's, it's the kiss of death. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> You're painting when you feel down, so an excellent multitasker. Yeah, I mean, you, you gotta paint when, you gotta paint, you know? Do, do, you go to, do you go to your job? Do you go to work when you, only when you feel up, uppity? When you feel like, oh my God, this is so great. Is that the only times you go to work? You know, does does an athlete go to to practice only when they feel like everything is right? Don't you think? I, I was I was reading about LeBron LeBron James. That dude would go to practice right after having a fight with his wife all night, where they wouldn't go to sleep. They didn't go to sleep. They were having arguments, whatever an argument was. The next morning, he was up running his miles, whatever how many however many miles he ran. He didn't go to sleep. And then he had to go to practice. They practice eight hours a day. Eight hours a day. That was their, that's their job. They practice eight hours a day. And then he had a game that night. That's, that's an athlete. That's a, that's a stone cold athlete. That's how I see painting. I, I don't see it as, as a, I don't see it as ah oh, well maybe to the only times I the, the the only times I've had a difficulty with this profession is because I don't treat it that way because I treat it like like how can I say this man most people don't even treat this thing like a job they they'll go to it whenever they want or when they feel like it and once they get there they won't even do the things that make make them the money, right? Like a job. Like what are the things? Let's say you sell real estate. Uh, what are the things that make you the money? You have to go prospect, follow up, open houses. Well, if you're an artist, you should be painting. Regardless of whether you paint good or bad, you should be painting if you're an artist. It might not work. It might not it, it might not work to the to the degree you wanted it to work. But it'll start working. Whatever that whatever working is, it'll start working if you just show up. Look at look at this guy. My goodness, this is a sky right there.
And so this is what happens to, to a, lot of, a lot of artists. We're like, man, I don't feel like painting today because I don't have ideas. Imagine going to your, calling your job and saying, hey, I don't, I don't feel like showing up today because I'm, I'm, not really, I'm not really feeling it today. And, and then people say that painting is different. It's, it's not different. It's the same thing. It's just that people start making up uh, lies during the, the, the turn of the century saying that painting was different in order to, ro to romanticize the act of painting. They were saying that painting is different. Painting is no different than if you're a plumber. You, you either show up and do the work or you don't. And the work might suck, but you showed up and did it anyways. And then you get a little better. Or not, you know, or not. I know some artists who, who been painting for a while, they don't get a little better because they don't, they don't really try. They just kind of go through the motions. They go through the motions and they don't really try. You have to try a little bit, right? You have to try a little bit. How, what, what else can I do? Uh, it, like in your job, right? Hey, can I stay a little later? Can I go in there a little earlier? Can I, can I take a little, a little extra, extra work than what I'm, I'm supposed to do? Can I make another phone call? Just a little better. Just a little. Not, not. You don't have. You don't need to be intense. Just a little better. Just a little bit. Can I get just a little better? And because what is that going to mean over 10 years, over 20 years? Hell, man, over two years, what is that going to mean? If we just start getting a little better every day, every day, over two years, just a little better. So anyways, guys, there it is. That, that was my Genesis Aqua for today. Take care, my friends. Look at that painting. I love this painting. It just comes up. Boom. It just it has that. Mmm. Has my Genesis Aqua all over there. All, all over it. All over it. My friends, I will be auctioning this painting on eBay tonight. The auction will start at $1. Click the link in my profile if you want to go check it out. If you want to learn more about what I'm talking about here, you can DM me or you can just follow me and uh, tag a friend. Don't be stingy with me. Pass me around. Tag a friend. Peace out.